Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to How Hot Are You? What do you like to do? I don't know. Burn stuff. Okay, uh, well, for this show, we're gonna eat some hot wings and we have some questions for each other, so we're gonna run through those as well. Uh, first sauce we have is Frank's Red Hot. Um, let's get into this. <laughs> They're kinda cold. <laughs> We're gonna get really hot for <laughs> First question, Justin. I hear you're a Texas Rangers fan. Oh, yeah. Why is that? And who is your favorite player? Well, I didn't watch a lot of baseball, but Dalton kind of showed me some stuff, and I so I played third base when I played baseball. So. Uh, I saw Adrian Bill Trey. Adrian Bell Trey. Yeah. He's a pretty cool guy. And I uh, started watching the live streams. And that's about it. I got a hat, so I feel like I'm a fan now. That's awesome. The <laughs> hat really makes you. Yeah. Our next sauce is Ferrero and Habonero Chipotle. Right on. Okay. Let's get into this wing, and I got a question for Zach. Gross. Is it good? <laughs> How do you do with hot food? Last time we had hot food, I remember shaky hands and sweaty noses. Or runny noses. Yeah, that's pretty much my whole experience with hot food. I get my lips are burning right now. We're only on the first on the first wing, it's already burning. And so what happens is first I start getting the right nose, right? Uh-huh. And second, I start to shake. And then Stage two. third, I start to black out and I start my breathing goes bad and my temples start throbbing and I get really lightheaded and I feel like I'm kinda of having a seizure or a uh, like an episode as you could say. <laughs> You think we'll be seeing that today? Um, I think on the last one you guys will see that. Okay. That ice cream might help a little bit. They end the milky. I guess we'll move on to our third sauce, which is sriracha. Oh, this is child's play. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what's correct. I don't like sriracha, for the record. Oh yeah, this is pretty spicy already. I put a lot on it. Oh my throat. Oh yeah, it's burning. Dude. I get a runny nose every time I go to sweet old burrito. No! Oh. Those are his new shorts. <laughs> <laughs> so if you were to skydive with a celebrity, who would it be? Uh, that's a good question. If I to skydive with a celebrity, any preference? Like, does it have to be a current celebrity or anyone? If I to skydive with a celebrity, it wouldn't be somebody of now. It would be Amanda Bynes, when she was probably like 13 <laughs> years old, because she'd probably be telling a lot of jokes. <laughs> Very zany humor. I think that'd be funny. But, you know, maybe, I don't know, she's probably like 16. Not in a weird way. Are your shorts okay? Dude? Oh, that's okay, that'll come out, right? Yeah, hopefully. Oh, that burned, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <that was hard. laughs> Woo! Okay, so Zach, you've already got one year down at the university. Um, right here, next year, that's you're right. going with your sweetheart. That's right. Uh, your number one girl next fall. Oh. What's the what's the spice on that? Well, if I to rate our love as a sauce, it'd probably be the last one we just had, a sriracha. It's very hot. Very. 
Oh, your love. Yeah, we're, we're good. Your love stains your pants. <laughs> as well. <laughs> I'm already drooling, man. We'll get a lot of that. That's good. But, uh, yeah. We're, I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a good time. <clears throat> That's going to be great. We'll have some bad times, of course, but what can you do? Interesting Skype calls. Not as many Skype calls as last year. Oh, but for us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, next we have Tawazola Extra Hot. Extra Hot. And it looks hot as f***. Should we take this one? Yeah, take it, sink it. Yep. <laughs> Vinegary, to say the least. Huh? Very hot. It's vinegar. Oh, <laughs> very hot. Let me finish this quick so I can ask you another question. Maybe take some uh, milk at the same time. Oh, there we go. In college, you beat Earthbound. Uh -huh. Tell me that experience and what that game means to you. Well, when I played Earthbound at the end, Jacob was there most of the time, and then it was right before my math class. I got to the end, and I've already played against Guy, I guess, a few times. And at this point, I didn't think I would beat him, and I did, 15 minutes of class, and then the credits probably lasted about 20 minutes, so I had to finish there. It said, thanks for playing Justin Patterson. Shed a tear. What's the math? I hear you bought a $250 cartridge of the game. The yeah. The cartridge. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's wild, dude. Yeah. That's good. It's going to be good. Let's uh, bring out our next sauce, which is Dave, Dave's Roasted Red Pepper and Chipotle Sauce. Oh. Oh, yeah. I got my best question for you at the end, dude. All right. Oh, it's nice change. That was hot. That was so hot. The lips are... Oh. Oh, um, this next... Question isn't even a question. Let me just say one word. Melee. Zach, why melee? Why what melee? Is... That's a great question. Give me your spiel. The, the game is the most perfect iteration of Smash Brothers. It's fast, there's techniques, there's personality in the gameplay. You can express yourself. There's Captain Falcon, there's the Fox, Fox the whole. Falco, <clears throat> the combos are just big, big combos, big excitement, just big fun. Let's hop on over to our second to last win before our, the Our last sauce is Captain Stash's hot sauce. <laughs> That's not a good spot to get, is it? No. Okay, at this moment, I'd like to uh, show off a picture of Zach's Instagram. Here we have this picture of Zach, and it says, Waiting for snow blindness to kick in so I get excused for my exams. That's right. Do you remember this picture? I remember that, like it was yesterday. <laughs> now, I was looking through here last night to find a picture of you, and I noticed you were in sweats. Uh, did your bike get wet at all? Oh, yeah, it was soaked. <laughs> well, we didn't have school. So I... We didn't have school that day. So I just went to the dining hall, as usual. 
had a wet butt, but you know, it came back good. inside, warmed up. You know, it was okay. It's a good picture. Yeah, it was first day of snow at my school in Vancouver. Vancouver doesn't get a lot of snow, so a lot of people were like freaking crazy. There were going snow penises, lots of snow penises everywhere. Lots of just fun in the snow. Let's get out the, the big finale. <clears throat> Frosty's meltdown <laughs> made with ghost peppers. This is gonna suck. Why hope this is hot? Oh, uh oh. Something's gonna happen. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it hit me, bro. Oh. <laughs> Okay, Zach, I have that question. Okay. So. Come on, dude. I see, I see your. You, your speed run. Your. Oh! <laughs> your straight. You've been watching speed runs at uh, Super Mario 64, and you're trying to speed run the game itself. Tell me about that. Well, I saw this Swedish kid play Super Mario 64, and um, apparently broke the world record. And he, and he says, I'm a legend! I'm a legend! And I thought that was cool. I played, six, <laughs> I played Super Mario 64 when I was a kid. Never liked the game that much, but you can do flips and all kinds of that was really easy to speed run. Okay, Zach, while we're burning in hell here, here's my favorite question for you. Listen to me here. Words like mainstream and underground are used yeah. a lot with music. Yeah. Does an artist becoming mainstream bother you at all? Uh, yeah. Well, okay, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm not going to pretend it doesn't bother me. I'm glad you can say that. Because it does. You know, I like being the guy who's like, listen to this guy, he's really cool. But I don't like everyone to be like, listen to this guy, he's really cool. I like to be just like... I like to be everyone's... gateway to a lot of underground stuff. And... I'm glad the people... Those artists are getting the recognition they deserve. <coughs> but oh, here comes the shakes. <coughs> but you know, I like. Oh, it's nice knowing you're the kid that's like, I listen to this guy, and I'm the only one. You exactly. know, like out of your group or out of your clique or peers, or whatever. It's, it has a. Yeah, there's a nobility to it, like you, a pride thing. You don't own that artist, but that represents you. Right, right. That's part of you. Yeah. Because I know sometimes I'm really into a group. And I want to know that others, I want to show them to others, right? right. Sometimes I feel a certain jealousy and exactly understanding with them. I guess we're going to get some ice cream now. Uh, I'm feeling a little shocked now. Yeah, I think that's all the questions we have for today, but catch us later on. How hot are you? What do you do? I don't know. Burn stuff? <laughs>